The boat behind me here is a Delta Marine 38 meter. She's a 2003. I'm just about to do a full tour on this one. I haven't even been on the boat yet, and I'm really excited to see it. So we're going to head on, head on board, and have a good look around this one. This is really exciting. Right, so here we go. This is Jeremy from Ocean Independence. Hi, Hi Nick. Hi, Welcome Jeremy. On board. Thank you so much for organising this. Pleasure. I'm really grateful. Pleasure. Right, let's go. Let's go and have a little look. So I've just been given the full tour of this boat and it's super impressive. So I'm really keen to show this one to you. It's well worth staying with. It's an amazing machine. And this time we're going to go past the saloon. And instead of going into there, we're going to work our way around and we're going to take ourselves right up to the very top of this ship. And it really is a ship. And then we're going to work our way down. And in typical aquaholic style, we're going everywhere. We're going into the guest accommodation. We're going to the bridge. We're going to the engine room, the crew quarters, the lot. This is going to be brilliant. Okay, so this takes us up to the bridge deck and then we're going to go up another level, as I say, right to the very top of the boat and then we're going to work our way on down. So up here is the sun deck and there's a helm position up here, as you can see, and this has got the full bimini on it. That's a can in the background. So this Bimini top, because this boat is a properly transatlantic range boat, it'll do about six and a half thousand miles of range. So this is the sort of thing you might take over to the USA or to Bimini, anywhere like that. And of course then this sun top is extremely useful. And this area is extremely nice to be out in because there's masses of seating here. As we head back, it's got all the bar areas across the back and then more sun lounging space that's actually out in the sunshine right at the back of the boat. How lovely is that? And we'll head on round. This is caters for it all, this bar area. That's actually a dumb waiter, so that will send food up to this area from lower down. I want to keep moving on this one because it is such a big boat. As I say, it's 38 meters long. It's the biggest boat I've ever yacht toured. So let's keep it rolling by heading down to the bridge area. Now this is proper little ship stuff with this forward sloping windscreens so it cuts out all the glare, it cuts out all the sunlight beating into here. It's just fantastic. And then of course this is all of the navigation instrumentation, the wheel itself of course. And behind that there is a little dinette area so that if guests want to come along and join in with the navigation see what's going on they can certainly do so. And while we're on this deck, we're going to head out around the front because there's quite a nice area there. So we'll go out through this door. And then on the front of the boat, this is a super area. There's a seating area just here, and then there's a sunbathing area here. And what's nice about this, of course, is when the boat's at anchor, it's facing into the wind as it is at the moment. So you've got a nice cool breeze here. And these two enormous anchor handling winches. There's 250 meters of chain on each side. I mean, this is a proper long range, go anywhere boat. So it has the capability to back that up in terms of its anchoring gear. Another seating area up here. And then we can look back at that bridge. How nice is that? Okay, let's carry on. So what else have we got on the bridge deck? Well, if we go back in where we came out, We can head on through here. There's a nice little desk area just behind for the captain to work at. And then if we step back again, this will take us through into this lobby area. Now back here, there is a day toilet on this level. On the other side, I think this is just storage from memory. Yes, it is. And also on this deck is the captain's cabin. So he gets the use of this. Very nice cabin. There's a desk in here again. And as you'd expect, it has its own ensuite. 
tucked in behind with a separate shower stall. That is a very nice cabin. Let's head on back. As I say, you're still on the bridge deck. And then at the back here, we find another door. And this takes us into this beautiful sunroom. Now, quite cleverly, what they've done with this, apart from being a magic little room of its own right, this settee converts into a big double bed if you want to. And of course, then with the loo that you've got down the corridor, this can be used then as another sleeping area if it's needed. I mean, there's plenty of cabins on here anyway, but it just gives you a little bit more scope if it was ever required. And look at the details, things like this light overhead. It's just a really lovely day area. Quite informal, very nice, and some great views out of these big windows. And then behind that, is the bridge deck. So you've got a seating area out here under the shade of this overhang. That's called the sun deck up above. And then these two massive cranes. Now these cranes are two and a half ton of capacity each. It gives you some idea of the engineering on this boat. And in theory, you only really need one because they'll both lift onto this area. The idea of having two is for total redundancy. So if you're really out somewhere completely off the beaten track and one of your cranes fails, you have a backup and of course with this massive area here you can use them for whatever you want you can stack jet skis up here you could put a great big rib in the center you could put a sailing boat on here which i think this one has had this one's even got a skiff at the back so basically whatever we're going to put up on this deck you can do and those huge cranes will allow you to do it and in fact there's two of them will make sure that you can continue to do it awesome okay let's go back into here and we'll take the stairway down and we'll have a look at the next deck down, which is the main deck. But isn't that lovely? That is really nice. Okay, so we're back through this door. And then this is the stairway down to the main deck. And we will head forwards first of all, because up here is the master cabin. This is stunning. That is one of the nicest and most comfortable cabins I've ever seen on a boat. And look at these huge windows. So you've got this view outside. You can wake up to that. That's incredible. And if you're into some serious transatlantic crossing, offshore then there are shutters that go on there so you can shutter those windows if necessary but obviously most of the time you'd have them as they are at the moment. There's a real art deco feel to parts of this and it's just stunning. And ahead of this is the ensuite. What well, I should be more accurate and say is the bathroom because it does have a proper bath in it. And of course there is a big shower as well and then all the other facilities that you would expect in a boat of this caliber. God, isn't it beautiful? Okay, let's carry on through here. Another thing worth looking at while we're in here, let's just pause and take in this cabin again just for a moment. If we head over here, we will find the dressing room. Look at that. Astonishing. Okay, let's head on back through here. This door here is another day head. So for people on this deck, they can find a little without having to go diving into people's cabins. And if we head on back again, this door takes us into the saloon area. But I'm going to give you a quick tease of that because we're going to come back to that last. That's where we're going to come through at the end of the tour. What we're going to do instead is head down look at these beautiful railings along here. As I say, there's a, it's a bit of an Art Deco feel to it and I think it's just gorgeous. This then is the lower deck. Now down here you've got your guest cabins. If we go into here we will find a couple of singles. Again, that beautiful woodwork everywhere, and the bathroom then is in through here. Like so. And 
and then this cupboard is mirrored directly opposite by another one which is pretty much the same and again the ensuite very similar as we head back we'll find two more cabins but worth mentioning that this has actually got a watertight bulkhead that raises up and closes this off so that you can maintain completely separate watertight compartments and that again is testimony to just what a serious offshore explorer boat this is it's not just a med cruiser this is built to really cover oceans so in here double cabin a lot of space around here drawers wardrobes and so on and of course your ensuite and in this room you get actually a bathroom mm -hmm. And if we head around and cross the corridor, we'll find the same thing again. So you've got four cabins on this level. And again, a bathroom. So three baths on this boat. I was amazed at finding one bath. I've never been on a boat with three baths before. Okay, and while we're back at this end of the boat, we're gonna head through here. And back here, this is another watertight door, and in behind here is the engine room. And now you're starting to get a sense again just how serious this boat is, because this feels like being in a ship, which is effectively what this boat is. These engines, they are Caterpillar 3508B. And that's worth mentioning because these are a particularly rugged, long-lasting engine. They're producing 775 horsepower each at only 1,200 RPM. So they take over at a really low speed. And they cruise the boat at about 12 knots. You'll do 14 knots flat out. She's a displacement cruiser. And that, as I say, is giving 6,500 miles of range. That's really impressive. A few other things worth mentioning in here. This is the bilge manifold, so the bilge pumps you can control from here without having to lift up the floor. If we head further forward, these are the manifolds for all the fuel systems. So again, you can move the fuel around between the tanks very easily. And she actually holds 65,600 litres of fuel with uh, two day tanks of 3,650 and everything else in storage tanks. And this is interesting. These are the raw water strainers and they've deliberately lifted up high so they're above the water line so that if you ever got a blockage you can undo these, take it off and clear the blockage without water surging up because, as I say, they're above the water line. Generators are outboard, there's one there, there's a Northern Lights generator and there's another one which is running at the moment, there's what's making a noise in here, just over there. But this is an incredible engine room, absolutely amazing. That doorway at the back, that incidentally, that's just through to a lazarette area, storage, that kind of thing. Beautiful. Just amazing. Let's carry on. These doorways here, someone's bound to ask. Electrical panels. Okay, let's head on again. You can hopefully pick up just how well insulated this boat is because all the noise from that engine room is now gone. The only thing we've got is the gentle whir of the air conditioning keeping us cool. Right, we're going to head forward again because this gives us direct access into the crew cabin. They don't have to come through here, but what this means is that if they're servicing beds and that kind of thing, when everyone's got out to breakfast, they can come straight on through. So we'll head through here, and this is the crew's domain. So here we have got things like the laundry. That's just there with its Miele washers and dryers. And then we're not going to go into every cabin because these crew cabins are being used, but they very kindly cleared this one for me so we can have a quick look. So there are two cabins like this. They're twin cabins, loads of storage in through here, and they have an ensuite. And that has a separate shower area behind. So they're decent sized crew cabins, which of course, when you're on long passages, you need. So two like this, and then there is a further one, further up the boat, 
just there. That's an engineer's cabin. So that's a little larger. It's got a double bed in it. So that's another crew area. So three crew cabins here, but don't forget there's another one up on the bridge deck. So four crew cabins in total. So eight crew in total. Okay, we'll head on up and this will take us okay. into the cruise domain. So the crew get this very nice crew mess area to relax in. And again, you've got terrific views straight out with can just over there. And then up here as well, these are storage areas. So for example, if we look in this one, this is all refrigeration. Again, if you're having a boat that will cover oceans, you need to have the supplies to do it, and this boat has them. And this door takes you straight out back into the main deck lobby area. But what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna use this door and this will take us into the galley. So really great size galley area. I love this big island in the center. I mean, that would be big in a house. It's fabulous in a yacht. More refrigeration, of course. Sinks over in the corner, coffee machine. Again, a nice view out. That's a lovely working area. And that then takes us through to the saloon, which is why I left that to last, because it finishes off the tour nicely. Worth mentioning, in fact, there's a doorway here so the crew can go straight out. They don't need to go through any of the guest areas. They can come in and out of the boat completely discreetly. But if we head through here, now we are back into that saloon and dining area. And that, of course, is perfect for catering to this table. And it's a great place to finish this tour off because just like everything else on this boat. It's absolutely spectacular. I love this cherry wood with a nice gloss finish. And the little details like the way they've done this marquetry around here. It's just absolutely beautiful. Let's come right to the back and take a final look. Awesome. So that is the Delta Marine Andrea. She's an absolutely stunning boat. Really pleased to be able to show this one to you. Really indebted to Ocean Independence for raging the tour. And I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, do hit the subscribe button. We've got loads more great videos coming and we we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, bye-bye.